Oh Lord. I'm sure. Unless you're a really good scrapbooker. Scrapbooker? Hi friends, my name is Lisa and in today's video I am tackling some of my hidden messes on a budget with Dollar Tree items. We all have those drawers and closets that get neglected in our busy lives and with Dollar Tree items we can easily get them under control without breaking the bank. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video where I show you a great hack for photo organization. Let's jump right in and get it done. So I was in this cabinet a couple weeks ago and I did reorganize these supplements and medications, but actually needed those organizers for a drawer in my office. So here I am again, and I'm going to pull everything out and separate it by what it's used for, for instance, cold medicine or supplements, and put them in these little Dollar Tree organizer bins, which makes it so much easier then just shuffling around in there looking for what you need. They're all together by what they're used for and it just makes it so much nicer. These organizers here I think will be perfect for the infamous junk drawer in the kitchen. I love the color and the way they snap together. I'm not sure if they still have these in store, but you might be able to get them online. So in here, there's a bunch of items that need to go into the office. It's kind of become a catch-all. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out, wipe down the drawer, and just keep the items in here that make sense for this area of the home. She practices piano on her thigh Imagining the keys inside her mind Does she notice The things I notice How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet Searching for solutions 
silence But I'm here I'm here Under the kitchen sink is another problem area for me. What I want to do in here is put the items I use most often in the front and then the other items that I just use periodically, I want to put those together in the back. I also have a bunch of grocery bags shoved into the back of the cabinet here that I want to get out of there and find a better home for them. Everywhere, I'm over here. This grocery bag holder is not from Dollar Tree. I purchased this on Amazon and just put it right here in the garage, right outside the kitchen. And it seems to be working great for all of the grocery bags. I will link that for you guys, either in the description or in a pinned comment, but I'm really happy with that purchase and glad to get those grocery bags out from underneath the kitchen sink. Another great option for these Dollar Tree file holders is to put your canned cleaners in them. You know how sometimes you go underneath the kitchen sink, you're reaching back in there and you end up knocking over five cans as you're reaching for a sponge or something. I think this will be great to keep all of these together and organized underneath the cabinet. This bin here would work well for the bulkier items same problem as with the cans you reach underneath the sink and you're knocking over the dog shampoo i think this will keep all of those together nicely and then this bin as well for all of these other bulkier items and i'm putting the items that i use most often in the front so that it's easier to grab the same bins that i use for the supplement cabinet i think will work well for these smaller items keeping all of them together and not floating around aimlessly in the cabinet. Because of the garbage disposal, I had to play around with the placement of these for a minute, but I ended up finding something that works and the cabinets will still close and I can still easily access everything I need. Moving on to the bedroom, I want to organize a couple of the dresser drawers in here and I really like these particular bins for this because they're pliable, they can conform to the space that you're using them for and you can shove a ton of socks in there or underwear, 
whatever you may be using. I like the way they fit into the drawers. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be let me take just a minute and introduce myself. My name is Lisa, and my hope for my channel is to bring encouragement and motivation to create a beautiful, functional, and organized home on a budget. Times are hard for many of us. Some struggle just to put food on the table, and not everyone can afford to spend $20 on a single organizer bin at the container store or $100 on a vase at CB2. I just want to open my home and share ideas on how we can all create beauty in our space without breaking the bank. If this is something you're interested in, I hope you'll subscribe. Your support keeps me going and means so much to me. Welcome to my Monica's Closet. So let me explain. My bathroom is pretty small and doesn't have the room for all of the extra fun things I have. So the linen closet has now become the catch-all for that. So I really need to get this closet under control. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same organizers that I used in the drawers in the bedroom simply because they just fit better. The shelves in here aren't very um, they're not very long or wide I should say so it's really hard to find the right type of plastic bin that fits in here the way I need it to and these seem to work really really great for me I also want to find a better situation for the extra towels so I'm going to be tackling that as well So I like to keep the cleaners I use for the bathrooms near the bathrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those same bins that I use underneath the kitchen sink for the bathroom cleaners and other items that I think would fit nicely in there. I did try them on these shelves and they ended up working out really, really good. had a bunch of nail polish shoved in that cabinet as well so I picked this up and thought this would work really great for my nail polish if you have a lot of I don't have a ton of nail polish so one of these is fine you could purchase a few of them and keep all of your nail polish in there I've got the nail polish remover and then you could maybe put cotton in one of these um, sections as well so this just ended up working out really really well to keep all that together and I can just grab it when I want to do my nails I also had some random gauze pads band-aids and alcohol pads shoved in that closet as well I had this container just laying around so I'm going to go ahead and use it to keep all of these together so they're not flying around the closet and I can always add more to it that's why I figured it would work being a little bit on the larger side because I could always add to it down the line if needed
I'm trying to stick to Dollar Tree items in this video, but as we all know, they don't have all of the type of containers that we might need in our home. I purchased these on Amazon and I thought these would work really good to keep the extra towels in. They close so they'll keep dust and dirt off of the towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the towels in there and slide those into the very bottom of the cabinet so I can easily grab some new towels if needed for guests or for myself. I pulled some organizers out of this drawer as well to use in the office and I also added some things in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out and do it all over again. This drawer is ve isn't very deep. So you have to be strategic about how you keep things in here organized. So I think these organizers will work out great to separate everything out so you're not shuffling around and digging for what you're looking for. Ooh, stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together and we might, we might lost but not forever less things in life you simply need to know so I thought this smaller caddy would work out great for all of my hair ties headbands and clips so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there and actually store them underneath the cabinet For indifference, you're not one of those. We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all. We get a little wiser. There's things in life you simply need to know. Another great use for the file bins at Dollar Tree are to hold your hair tools. This has worked out so great for me in keeping these separated and not flying around underneath the bathroom cabinet. You definitely need to try this. It worked great for my curling iron, my flat iron, and my blow dryer. About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end There's things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go I'm sure we all have one of these boxes laying around with a bunch of photos that we plan on scrapbooking or putting in photo albums and that day never comes so this is a pretty fast way to get some organization going on with these i'm going to start off by going through this box and organizing all my photos into different categories i'm going to be honest with you guys i did not get through this whole box for the video. Going through pictures can be quite the task. It can pull at your heartstrings. It can be a little bit emotional, especially going through photos of your kids as they're growing up and relishing in all of those wonderful memories. 
so I did just enough to get through the video. This is definitely something that I want to do on a rainy day where I can really take my time. Okay, so here are some pencil and pen storage boxes that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And I thought these would be a great way to have some sort of a semblance of organization with your photos. If you have the huge box, like I told you or showed you earlier, with pictures just thrown in there and not organized because we don't all have time for scrapbooking to make the perfect photo albums. So I just feel like this is a quick, somewhat quick anyway, budget friendly way to get some organization in your photos. So for instance, you know, you went on a vacation to Europe, you take that stack of photos, you put them in the box and then I'm going to show you in a little bit how I'm going to label these and keep them all together organized. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the boxes and then I'll show you how I'm going to label them and store them from there. Okay, so I purchased these Avery address labels. You can use any labels that you think would work for you, a label maker, what have you, but I have a printer over here and I just thought these would be the easiest. So I've got their template website up here and I'm gonna go ahead and create the labels and get them printed. So I have most of them created already. I just have one more to make. So. Also, as you can see here, I got creative. <laughs> I need to get a stand for this iPad. Um, this just wasn't cutting it. I was still, you know, having to lean over to do work on my iPad. So this is just a temporary little situation that I have here. Um, so anyways. Gonna go ahead, it says, print it yourself. And then it gives you the option to save it. And then it gave me a PDF. So let's get the party started with the labels. All right, these came out right the first time. Usually I screw them up and waste a whole page before I get it right. So I'm super excited, it worked. Now let's go put them on the boxes. Okay. So here we go. I've got a box full of softball photos. And then I've got the kids, 2009 to 2012. I've got my daughter. And you can do these any way you want, any categories you want. This is just a quick little, um, what is it a quick little? What is this a quick little? Um, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, refilm this part 
so you guys can obviously subcategorize or categorize your photos any way you want. This is just a quick demonstration. I didn't want to get in too much detail and take too much time. So um, they're pretty, they're not the most detailed, separated in the most detailed ways, but this will work for video purposes. My son, certain dates, and then myself, certain dates. So now they're all labeled. And then I'm going to show you how I will keep them all together. So they had this box as well for $3 and I thought this would be perfect to store these in. So literally three, like $9, I guess, for this whole setup. So then I'm just going to put them in here. And what would be really great is if like this whole box was you know, a wedding and all the photos separated out, or you could do like, you know, a trip to Europe or whatever. This whole box could be all of my son, different, you know, photos of him throughout the years. But this is just how I'm doing it to show you. They fit in here. Look at that. They fit in here so perfectly. And then you just put the lid on. And then I'm going to take this off and then you can label the box and store it like this with, with the label here or you can store it sideways with a label here. But I just thought this was such a neat idea, completely budget friendly, and at least your pictures are a little bit more organized than just all jumbled together in a big box like I had mine. So for all of the eight by tens and five by sevens you might have they can easily obviously get bent and folded up just being thrown in a box. So another idea I had was just to get a simple file folder and place the photos in the folder and you can label each folder. So put the photos in there. And then you can put these into the bottom of the box. Put the other boxes on top. And there you go. So that'll help protect the larger photos as well. And you can keep everything together. So that is it for today's video. Getting all of this done has relieved so much stress. Even though these areas are mostly unseen, I knew they were there and having them functional and organized was worth the work. I hope you found these organization tips helpful and it motivated you to tackle some of your hidden messes. I want to thank everyone who has supported my new channel. Every like, comment, and new subscriber means the world to me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.